Yo. What's going on? Well, I got bad news for you, man. Okay. Uh, all this talk about chat GPT the last month or two mm -hmm. and AI mm -hmm. and, you know, started off with like, look how cool it is. Then it was, oh, kids are trying to cheat on their homework. And then it became, we should be worried because artificial intelligence is going to be like the new, uh, you know, bad trade agreements. Everyone's going to lose those white collar <laughs> jobs and, uh, you know, wipe out a whole other sector of employment for people. And we said, you know, uh, okay, how long until they come after us, though? You know, the people who are sitting here just kind of chatting and BSing and I whatever. read this the other day. I heard the DJs do it. <sighs> yep, it's it's here. Did you see it, Snowcone? No, I didn't. Well, it's from this company called Futuri, or Futuri, F-U-T-U-R-I. They've launched something called Radio GPT. Mm -hmm. This is the first ever radio platform powered by AI. That did not take very long. No. From the first time we talked about ChatGPT to now, they've already launched this website, and you can go listen to demos of it, and they're explaining how it works. So here's how it works. Um, Radio GPT uses Futury's Topic Pulse technology to scan online news sources and social media to identify topics and trends in local markets. Mm. The platform then creates scripts for radio broadcast which are delivered on air by AI-generated personalities using the same GPT-3 GPT technology implemented by ChatGPT. That's the other thing we talked about was we knew that they've, they're already using AI to read books on tape. Yeah. So And that's okay. That makes sense. So maybe they'll have people that are narrating television shows. They've already actually been doing that a little bit, but you can kind of tell they've sometimes. They've done a lot on YouTube. And now yeah. it's going to be on TV probably more and more often, and we won't even notice. Hell, it could already be happening more, and we don't notice. But to have them, that's still all scripted stuff. Mm -hmm. That's still someone telling it what to say. Yeah, this is generating Now new it's yeah. generating it itself just by scanning everything on the Internet and oh. looking to see what's popular. We're screwed. It says the technology can automate other processes as well, including creating websites, blogs, social media posts, short form videos, and converting on-air content into podcasts. That covers just about everything that everyone in this room tries to do or yep. is supposed to do, sure, right? Yep. It says, like a radio DJ, uh, this offers a curated selection of music narrated by AI-powered spoken commentary. And of course, it goes on to say, that, you know, why does it matter? Well, it could transform the broadcast industry, enabling companies to cut costs while determining some, if not all, of a radio station's content, meaning that the AI can yeah. determine it. So I didn't want to pay for it, obviously. That seems a little ridiculous and ironic, but there are samples that you can listen to if you go on their website. So they play like a sample of, uh, you know, I guess just a regular radio station. It's got music, and then mm -hmm. it comes out of the music, and someone talks. It's, you know, what you'd expect, but I think it's picking the music, too. So it's already picking pretty good music. Over the years, there have been many examples of artificial intelligence helping humans. Oh, this is Rich. Bad command or file name. Well, they expect you to be a machine to operate this machine. But this ain't Mystery Science Theater 3000. We've come a long way, baby. Uh. The future of entertainment is now Radio GPT. Okay, so now you hear that and you think, well, that sounds a lot like a regular radio station. That sounds like something that would be pre-recorded or whatever. Sure. It's like a promotional thing that they mm -hmm. run in between songs. Mm -hmm. So I'm more interested in what does it sound like if they want to get people to actually talk to one another the way that we talk to each other here on this show. Well, they've got that. Now, in this instance, it's like a, I think they're doing the news. It's like a news broadcast, but this, sure. this is all AI. Illegal for dogs to stick their heads out of car windows. The idea is to keep dogs safer but many pet owners say the law would take away one of their dog's greatest joys. What's next? Will they make it illegal to fly your airplane hand out the car window? Oh, oh no! Damn it! <laughs> Live, made locally in Springfield, and 100% voiced and powered by AI, this is Radio GPT. Oh, no! Yeah, that's good. <laughs> she had that quip. I yeah. mean, I couldn't have come up with the airplane no. hand that, that fast. No. God, and he already knows the news. He's talking about what's topical. For People sure. love dogs. I'm sure that's the other thing you can do. You can say, well, there's a story about dogs. Yeah. But then there's also this story about the woman who found her husband's body. Which one is more likely? They, they don't get them wrong? Update. Yeah, they get it they based every right off of the internet. I mean... Yeah, but do they talk about masturbating? To, I don't know. I like, found, can you be like, do you just type in like, all right, I want this one. This is a filthy AI <laughs> right. DJ, right? 
Well, if someone texts in, like and says, more because hey, that sounds like mornings on. I don't you know nothing right. wrong, but like mix or the point yeah. or whatever. Like, what's next? Yeah. No more. And you know, kids and moms both like it. Right. It's friendly. But can you do this show or Johnny's show with that? Can they just be like, I'll tell you what, you know, twenty bucks for a dildo, or you know what I mean? I was masturbating to Chatterbait last night. That's gonna be a little bit more. That's gonna be a little hard for AI. I'm well, sure we well, could, they could get it. But to me, it's just harder. like the safe search thing. You know, when you go and you right, do a search and you say, just turn it off. And as soon as someone on Twitch says, hey, Mr. AI, uh, I just spent money on a cam girl for the first time last night. Well, now the AI is going, what is cam girl first time? Must have been right, embarrassing. Sure. Like, so how'd that work out for you there? Right. I know I've had a few experiences with cam girls. As a matter of <laughs> fact, I'm looking at all of them right now right, no. because I, mean, I can see happen. everything on the Internet. And it's like, oh, that guy's so much funnier. He knows every every cam girl right now that's online. He can tell yeah. you anything about them. I mean, I'm hopeful, Lazo. Well, I can tell you most cam girls on the Internet. We can be hopeful. That's true. We, You know what? If they're like, hey, that's I mean, that's let's just point. not fall on a sword that's just true. yet. That's true. That's true. When it comes to cam girls, that AI is going to have to put on a little extra <laughs> a little work. A little bit of be. effort. <laughs> Who wants to talk about masturbation and <laughs> yeah. cam girls? Panty and you think there's an AI yeah, that knows no. more about pantyhose than me, you? It can't, it can't know what a fetish. It knows what it means, but right. it can't know what it, it feels like. It can't have like. one. It can't have a fetish. Right. It can't know how that thing could, well, Ruin your shape life. It, shape its life. Let's say shape. <laughs> shape its life. Sometimes get you into some trouble, for sure. But right. how such a thing could be so all-consuming. Xanta Spooby 99 says, until that thing manages to buy a stripper a Taurus, I'm not listening to it. <laughs> well, it's probably going to get paid pretty soon. And stop with the buying a stripper a Taurus. <laughs> you did buy a stripper hey, a I bought a person hey, a car. That's what makes us different. That's it? That's what makes us different? Uh, yeah. I'm waiting that's for Apollo. No. We that's buy strippers' it, cars. That's what makes us different than AI. You still buy strippers' cars. AI ain't doing she that. She needed a car. She was in a bad situation. We all know the story. You still bought her one. Yes. And then she like never nice. talked to you again. Well, she got fired. Oh, I'm sure. She did. Uh-huh. She did. I mean, I saw her. I saw her. Yeah, okay. I saw her one time, I think. Look, you never see the same girls working there for very you long. You would That's... go and visit with her and not even get a lap dance. Well, we talked, I don't, yeah. Yeah, she'd be like, I just want to talk to her. I'd be like, my No, she God. wanted to talk. She had stuff she wanted to talk about. I was like, all right, that's fine. No, you would. And I'd be like, get a lap dance. She's like, well, it's, our relationship isn't like that. That's well, what you I said. never said that. That's what you said. You said it would be weird. I mean, it's hard to be defensive you when said, I bought her a Taurus. But... You said it would be weird. And I was like, it's what's weird is you coming in here and not getting a lap dance. That's what's weird. This is a place that's built around the idea of lap dances. I got and you're like, it'd be weird dances if I got a lap her. dance from her. I got plenty of lap okay. dances. Okay. No, what would be weird is if you bought her a Taurus and listened to her problems. That would be weird. Oh, I'm sorry. I am a human and I had some. Oh, here we go. Now you sound her. like an AI. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I am, I am a human. human. <laughs> I had empathy for a stripper. Imagine that, you jerk. Yeah, well, well okay. that's about right. You know, it was a tough situation. <laughs> she was living in one of those weekly hotels, Laszlo. Yeah, well, and not even like a nice one. Not like the one you stayed in. Like, you know, are there nice in the industrial. There are. I mean, yeah. I, I've heard of people being put in them for work. You know, they're in the suburbs. Where did right? I stay in I th- didn't you have to stay in one for work one time? Oh, didn't in they put Seattle? You in one? Yeah. Didn't yeah. they put you in like a weekly. What do they call those? Is it just a pay by the week? Where did they tell extended stays? That's yeah. a that's a name of a actual that company, I think. Chain, but yeah. I think it's kind of like band aided. People I'm use it. I remember the name that place, but I don't remember exactly where it was. I don't remember where yours was either. But was I know by that, the water. They got you a condo when you came. Yeah, it was like a studio condo. Yeah. It was pr- pretty sweet. Yeah. But I know that they've gotten people those uh, long term hotels. I think here when they moved, here, they moved they here. They just moved me to that. It was it might not even be there anymore. But it was over where that Kmart was. Yeah. On there... Frontage Road or whatever, there's a hotel behind there. Oh, okay. Well, I've heard of people staying in the extended hotel Oh, things. and then when we moved back from Seattle, they put me in like, the, oh, it was on like College Boulevard. They're, I think they're condos now, but they were like long-term ho- monthly pay mm. residences. Mm. Were they nice? And the, those were really nice. Yeah. The, the condo they put me in in Seattle, mm-hmm. holy moly, I was 23 years old. I got there and there's like it's fully furnished. It's got everything because I was waiting. That was part of the deal. It's like I had to wait for my stuff to get there. I sat down in that living room. You turn and look out the window, and right there in the window is the full Space Needle. And it happened to be like snowing when yeah. I got there that night, and you see snow falling in front of the Space Needle. You open the doors, and the water is right there to your left. I was like, dude, can I just stay here? And they're like, no. No, you cannot. But I got to stay there for a month, which is pretty cool. Uh, the point is, she was not staying in People a place like this. People bring up good stories. just makes you laugh. What? Like... 
AI's father-in-law got way too intimate about. Let me tell you about my father-in-law. It's not going to be able to do that. He took it's off not. his AI shirt. Well, you know what it's going to do? It's going to take our shows. It's going to go back and it's going to listen to our shows and it's going to rip us off. And all off. it has to say is, it doesn't have to say it. All it has to say is, oh, let me tell you about a story I heard. Yeah. And then, boom, it just tells a story about your father taking off yep, his shirt. Because it's listened to every father podcast. Father-in-law taking off his shirt. Yeah. Throwing money at trying a girl's to, Trying to pay vagina. them with a credit card. Yeah. Write yeah. it. No. He tried to write a check. Oh, he tried both? Okay. He tried a check first. And they were like, yeah, we're not taking checks. And he's <laughs> check. like, well, how about a credit card? To me, the check was a better, like, there's a chance, you know, yeah. at least with the check. He's like, I we're not part. taking checks. And then he's like, all right, well, I got a credit card. And they're like, no. I'm like, all right. Because I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But at the bachelor party I was at before that, from a friend of mine who was getting married, he did write a check. Oh. And what happened was she was like, look, you know, come on, don't you want to do more? And he's like, of course. And he's like, but I've spent, like, all the cash that we had in this house. What's and he, he had a check. Was carrying a checkbook around? He, I don't know. He <clears> had <throat> one in the house. You know, this was. Oh, was it his house? Ten years ago, yeah. Oh, okay. No, yeah, that, he wasn't carrying it around. Okay, I, I mean, was like, who just carries a checkbook around in their back pocket? Yeah, no, he had a checkbook and, uh, you know. Wrote it, uh, wrote it. I don't know how that worked out. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure she accepted the check. Well, I'm pretty sure I you could call the next morning and stop payment. That's true, right? But then you got the guy coming back over to the house. Yeah, and, you don't want that. Uh, you don't want that guy coming back over. Yeah. He was there to let you know, like, yeah. nothing happens now. And if you try and pull any, like, stop payment stuff later, I know where you yeah, live. Something could happen. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. You know what? AI will never understand what that fear is. The fear of that guy coming back. The fear of getting punched in the high school bathroom. The fear of all the things that we live through. Yeah, doesn't understand right. that, you know? You're being, right. being bullied and, and sure. you know, being made fun of. It won't understand those things. Right. Going to a lemon party. Going to a lemon party and your friend leaving you there high and dry at 3 o'clock <laughs> in the morning <laughs> in an alley in New York where you've never been before. With no yeah. ride. No nothing. In a swim Well, suit. just so you know, when I left, I didn't have a ride and I was in an alley in New York where I'd never been before. So. That's true. You'd be. You make there. it sound like You'd I left there. you somewhere where you I did. knew my way around. I had to go outside and call an Uber. You too. told the driver how to get to the place we were going. You'd no, been, I didn't. You'd been there before. It well, was. How do we find it? GPS. Oh, I guess it was on maps, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I called ahead. It I wasn't forgot. 1912. It wasn't we didn't oh, ride okay. a horse okay. there. <laughs>